on January 14th, I woke up and I noticed that I had some spottiness in my eyes and my left side of my arm felt a little numb, tingly. And I turned the shower, uh, the water on on the bottom and I tried to turn the top of the shower head on, but for some reason I couldn't remember how to do that. And a couple minutes later, the whole left side of my body went numb where I lost um, movement in my left arm and my left leg. I'd called out for my roommate for help, still thinking, wondering what's going on with my body, why is this happening? Um, 911 was called. I was loaded into the, uh, the paramedic vehicle and uh, rushed to uh, the hospital. About two hours later after the uh, emergency, um, I had full mobility back on my left side of my body. I was able to move my left arm and my left leg like normal. Um, my speech came back, no more slurring. And I was pretty amazed at the time that I was back to being normal. Prior to the early 1990s, uh, we really didn't have any effective therapy for strokes. In the early 1990s, a medication was approved by the Food and Drug Administration. That medication is uh, what's called TPA, and it's an intravenous medication that is given to patients with acute ischemic stroke symptoms. And since then, we had a good medication to treat acute strokes. However, this drug doesn't uh, treat, doesn't have the, the power to treat all the clots that get dislodged into the uh, arteries of the brain. When a stroke patient arrives, uh, time is, is king, because every second counts. With the, with the availability of the biplane unit, we are able to treat patients that present with um, a stroke a lot quicker. Uh, where the biplane really comes into use is, is once they arrive into the hospital and the patient is found to have a, a large blood clot in one of the blood vessels in the brain, we can take that patient to the biplane suite and we can actually extract that blood clot in a much uh, more effective, safer, and timely fashion compared to if we only had a single plane angiography suite available. I think the, the greatest challenge um, in just using IV thrombolytic therapy alone is that we know there's a, a good percentage who are not going to have uh, a, a recovery. Um, they might have a slight improvement in their disability, but they're still going to be disabled. Prior to the availability of the biplane suite, we are working in a single plane angiography suite. So if you can imagine we just have one camera and you're looking at a blood vessel just from one angle. And many times it's hard to even find the right blood vessel because the brain has lots of different blood vessels in it. And, um, and you can easily have overlapping blood vessels. You know, you can look at blood vessels head on or you can be looking, you know, blood vessels like this. But if the blood vessels are superimposed, you may not realize that um, if you're looking on a single plane angiography suite. You only got one view. And so many times um, you could be trying to try to fish out a blood clot in the wrong blood vessel because you just can't see. And what, what you need to do is you have to move that single camera in multiple projections in order to be able to see. So with the biplane, you have two simultaneous um, points of view and you're easily able to distinguish um, exactly where the blood clot is, uh, which blood vessel you need to go to and then um, you're able to take it out a lot quicker. And the procedure is safer because you can see better. The procedure is quicker because you can see better. And so, so overall you get better results with the biplane unit. We're very progressive. Uh, we're moving towards comprehensive stroke uh, center certification. Uh, and uh, in being comprehensive, that means you're always trying to improve and you're always working towards something better. And better in stroke care means identifying patients sooner and taking care of them as quickly as possible. So the addition of this new biplane uh, is very important to us because now we have the capability to treat all the complex um, stroke patients. We, until we have this biplane, we were not able to treat uh, ruptured or uh, elective intracranial aneurysms. Now, uh, after we uh, brought this uh, in Mercy San Juan and with the addition of a very busy and modern uh, neurointensive care, we are able to handle uh, the most complex uh, 
strokes. Part of the people, when they talk about strokes, they sometimes forget about the hemorrhagic strokes, the intracranial bleeds, the subarachnoid hemorrhages, uh, that are 20% are of the strokes, essentially. We are able to cover all the spectrum of the ischemic and hemorrhagic uh, cerebrovascular diseases. We are, because we're a comprehensive stroke center, involved in a number of clinical trials, and we're constantly analyzing the effectiveness of neurointerventions. I'm just very grateful. I feel very grateful that the staff for Mercy uh, perform their duties above and beyond. I'll always be grateful for what they've done for me and for my family.